Was it an activist attempting to make a point about polygamy or an act of over racism? That's the question on Utah's Capitol Hill after a bizarre and poorly received presentation yesterday during a meeting of the House Democratic Caucus. Angela Kelly of the Sound Choices Coalition was voicing the group's opposition to a bill that would lessen the crime of polygamy when she took out some name tags and turned her attention to Utah's only African-American legislator, Representative Sandra Hollins. And so she started talking about slavery and she wrote on one of the name tags that she had, the word slave, and laid it in front of me and made some comment about me being black and um, being um, and, and slaves. She should know better. We are living in a time where she should know that this is inappropriate. Representative Holland says she was so shocked and hurt that she left the meeting. Today, the House Democratic Caucus issued a statement reading in part, Mrs. Kelly should apologize to Representative Hollins. Her behavior was racist and absolutely inappropriate. And it is very hurtful because one of the things that I have been uh, pushing for that's going to be on the ballot this year is to take slavery out of our um, Constitution. And so to me, it's offensive when someone tries to use my ancestors to build their political career or try to, um, to build up their organization. They don't have that right. In a Twitter post, Mrs. Kelly appeared to dig in, posting a 19th century quote from author Harriet Beecher Stowe and the line, polygamy equals slavery is not my idea, but I am happy to take up the cause. Now, I did have an on-camera interview with Mrs. Kelly scheduled this afternoon. She did not show up.